Hello fellow travelers, my name is SG and welcome to the channel. Today we'll be continuing on with Dante Kanto 27. Now last time we saw Virgil and Dante, they had made their way to the 8th Bolgia, or in the last level of hell. There they met Ulysses, where he was telling them the story of how he passed along with his crew and felt it was foolishness on his end. Now, we're going to continue from on from there. Uh, if you like this series, please leave a like and comment down below and let's continue, shall we? Already was the flame erect and quiet, to speak no more, and now departed from us, with the permission of the gentle poet, when yet another which behind it came, caused us to turn our eyes upon its top, by confused sound that issued from it, as the silicon bull that bellowed first with the lament of him, and that was right who, with his file, had modulated it, bellowed so with the sound of the afflicted, that notwithstanding it was made of brass, still it appeared with agony f transfixed. Thus, by not having any way or issue, at first from out of the fire to its own language, converted where the melancholy words, but afterwards, when they had gathered away, up through the point giving it that vibration, the tongue had given them in their passage out. We heard it said, O thou, at whom I aim my voice, and whom but now wast speaking Lombard, saying, Now go thy way, no more I urge thee, because I came perchance a little late to stay and speak with me. Let it not irk thee, thou seest it irks me not me, and I am burning. If thou but lately into this blind world hast fallen down from the sweet Latin land, wherefrom I bring the whole of my transgression, say if the Roman Gallius have peace or war, for I was from the mountains where between Orbiano and the yoke whence timber bursts. I was still downward bent and listening, when my conductor touched me on the side, saying, Speak thou, this one a Latin is. And I, who had beforehand my reply, in readiness forthwith began to speak, Also, that down below there art concealed. Romanga and thine is not, and never has been, without war in that bosom of its tyrants, but open war I none have left there now. Ravina stands as its long years has stood, the eagle of Polinta there is brooding, so that she covers Servia with her vans. The city which once made the long resistance and of, of the French and Sagrinary heap, beneath the green paws find itself again. Verencillo, ancient Mastiff, and the new, who made such bad disposal of Montegana, where they are wont make wimbles of their teeth. The city of Lamon and Santo govern the Lioncel on the white lair, who changes sides twixt summer time and winter, and that of which the Savio bathes the flank, even as lies between the plain and mountain, lives between tyranny and a free state. Now I entreat thee, tell us who thou art. Be not more stubborn than the rest have been, so may thy name hold from there in the world. After the fur fire a little more had roared, in its own fashion the sharp point it moved, this way and that, and then gave forth such breath. If I believed that my reply were made to one who into the world would I return, this flame without flickering would stand still. But inasmuch as never from this depth did any one return, if I hear true without fear of infamy, I answer. I was a man of arms, then Cordelier, believing thus begirt to make amends, and truly my belief had been fulfilled. But for the high priest whom my ill betide, who put me back into my former sins, and how, wherefore, I will have thee here. 
While I was still the form of bone and pulp, my mother gave to me. The deeds I did were not thus of a lion, but of a fox. The machinations of the covert ways, I knew them all, and practiced so their craft, that to the ends of earth the sound went forth. When now on to the portion of mine again, I saw myself arrived when each one ought to lower the sails and coils away the ropes. That which before had pleased me then displeased me, and patent and confessing I surrendered. Ah, woe is me, and it would have bested me. The leader of the modern Pharisees, having a war near unto Lantern, and not with Pharisees, nor with the Jews. For each one of his enemies was Christian, and none of them had been to conquer Ark. Not merchandising in the Sultan land, nor the high office, nor the sacred orders, in him regarded, nor in me that cord, which used to make those girt with it more meager. But even as Constantine sought out Sylvester to cure his leprosy within Sorcrate, so this one sought me out as an apt. To cure him of the fever of his pride, counsel he asked of me, and I was silent, because his words appeared inebriate. And then he said, Be not thy heart afraid, henceforth I thee absolve, and thou instruct me how to raise Palestinia to the ground. Heaven have I power to lock and to unlock, as thou dost know, therefore the keys are two, the which of my predecessor held not dear. Then urged me on his weighty arguments, there where my silence was the worst advice, and said I, Father, since thou washest me of that sin which I now must fall, the promise long with the fulfillment short will make thee triumph in thy lofty seat. Francis came afterward, when I was dead for me. But one black cherubin said to him, Take him not, do me no wrong. He must come down among my servitors, because he gave the fraudulent advice, from which time forth I have been at his hair. For who repents not cannot be absolved. For who repents not cannot be absolved nor can one both repent and will at once, because of the contradiction which consents not. O oh, miserable me, how did I shudder when he seized on me, saying, Preadventure thou didst not think that I was a logical logician. Thou didst not think that I was a logician. He bore me unto Minos, and was entwined eight times, his tail with his stubborn back, and after he had bitten it in great rage, and said, O of thee, divine fire, a culprit this, wherefore there thou seest, and I lost, invested thus, and in going in balm on me. When it had been thus completed its recital, the flame departed, uttering lamentations, writhing and flapping a sharp pointed horn. Onward we passed, both I and my conductor, up over the crag, above another arch, which the moat covers where is paid the fee, by those who, sowing discord, win their burdens. All right, now that we've read this chapter, let's talk about it, shall we? In this one, Dante and Virgil are still making their way to the last area they have to go to. But on the way, they meet a spirit of fire. They found one that is, or has been set on fire for as long as he's been there. When they talked to him, he asked what was the life of the living like? What was currently going on in the world? As many of these spirits like to know. They tell him and then they ask him, who is he? What is he about and why did he get here? And he gives them saying that he was at one point a high profile military man. That he was a captain in for his people. He joined the Franciscan order and old age where he pretty much worked his way to the top using false words he was a fraudster he was not a great person in life where he met the Pope of the time 
and they asked him for help to win against his enemies at that time. He gave them bad advice, advice that he had no idea what he was talking about. So he gave a fraudulent uh, story to him. And in that process, the Pope had pretty much forgiven him of all his sins and absolved him of that. And when that happened, he had no choice but to give him this advice, even though he had no idea what he's talking about. So when he did die, he was sentenced to that level of hell for being kind of a fraudulent, for being, for, well, for not being fraudulent, but rather being a fraud in total for not giving correct advice, not saying who he was honestly, and kind of causing the death of a lot of people. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed this chapter. This one's actually pretty good. Uh, please come back next week. We'll continue on with the next uh, chapter. Uh, please come back this Wednesday for another video. Hope you guys will enjoy it. And uh, please leave a like and subscribe down below. Um, if you have something to say, please leave it in the comment section. And I hope to see you guys next time. See ya.